Hi everyone. Uh, today we're going to do our first project in our sowing seeds project. Um, today we're going to make a self-watering plant pot. So all those of you at home that don't have a garden, that you can still get involved. So how we're going to start? We have an empty soft drink bottle. It can be any soft drink you like. So first of all, we need to get the lid. And I'm using this because it's metal so it won't wreck the table. And you need a grown up for this part. Use your scissors and make <sighs> Might need your dad to do this or your very strong mums. So we have our hole and then we need to cut our bottle. We do it about half. If you pinch it like that, it makes a small hole. And then you can stick the scissors in. Okay. Cut all the way around. Remember, you need a grown up to help you do this. There we go. Put the scissors down for a minute. And put the bottom up that way and then we're going to screw the lid back on i'm going to pour that bit of water out into the plant pot right now you need some string or do my bit for recycling i went to put my trainers on this morning and they the lace is snapped so i'm going to use the piece of old lace and they're much better for spreading the string because they have the little hard bit on the end. So if you do have any old trainers, that would be better. So you put a double knot in there. No, you don't. Sorry, because this is my second take, so I'd already done it. Right, I'll undo that again. So we thread it through the hole. Take leave the lid off first. There we go. Then we put the knot. And then we put that back in the nozzle and screw the lid back on. Okay. We finish with the string. We bring the bottom back over and then pop that in there for now. Now we need some soil. Fill our top part with soil. go and you need to choose some seeds to use I've chosen these they are mixed red flowers for wildlife so if you did want to plant some outside these are good ones to get the ones with a little bee on because they are really good for the bees to collect their nectar and um, pollen and make um, honey and the bees need all our help at the moment as well okay so and you should check 
on the back of the packet it will tell you how high the seeds will grow so if you're doing one for inside you don't want them to be too big Oh, there's all sorts of seeds in here. It did say mixed seeds. I'll show you. Look, we've got all different shapes of seeds. Oh, that one's flying away. So we've got some really big ones. And we've got some teeny, teeny little ones as well. And if you've got a mixed bag like this, you can put them in and then make some more of these and as they grow separate them out into other group other tubs so i don't want too many in there because they're going to take up all the space and pop them back in and then get some fine soil and just sprinkle it on the top to cover the seeds. Uh, Linda's making a mess all over the table. Right, that will do. Right, now next we're going to put the water in so that our plant gets lots to drink. Okay, so your string that goes into the water, this is the magic bit, the water will climb up the string, go through the hole, and will water your, your soil. So if you leave it a day or so, you'll see the, water, the soil start getting all wet. Now it's time to decorate. You can leave it like that if you like, but I think it's more fun to decorate. And I'm going to show you two decorating options. Firstly, we are going to just make a pretty one. So I have just an old piece. While we're all stuck inside at the moment, this is a great time to get into recycling. This was off of, I don't know what, but I have loads of them. When you get sets of pajamas, you have ribbon like it round, round it. Um, other things, so any little bits of pieces, this is a great time to stockpile them now. Any containers, any shiny little bits, be great for crafts. So I'm going to put this, whoops, we'll take him out for a minute. That's it. So it might be an idea to decorate before you, yes. Linda, it is a good idea to decorate before you put the water in. There we go. So we're going to put this the right way around. No, it's too loose. We're going to start again. up to help you with that bit and then tie your bow okay move that up a bit okay make sure your pot's dry before you start sticking anything on it might be helpful to get some glue dots or double-sided sellotape I don't think print stick will work too well on this. But I have some sticky gems. So you can just pop them on. These have already got sticky on them, so that's fine. Okay. 
And there we go. And you can put on as many as you like. Make a pattern. And the other one I have. So I'm going to turn it round. Do it from the other side. I have. I'm going to make a face. Oops! Dropped his eye. Oh. So here we go. We put an eye on there. You can use googly eyes, but you're probably going to need some glue dots. So we've got our little eyes there. And I've got. If your mum's got a sewing box or your nan, you might be able to get some buttons, but you can buy these as well. So I'm going to use this button and one second. This will stick well enough. Yeah. And we have a button nose. And if you have any wool at home, or it can be sweet wrappers, it could be old bits of material you have, absolutely anything. So I'm going to make some hair. Oh, his nose has slid off. Her nose has slid off actually, so she. So we get a bit more glue. You can make lots of different things. You can have people. You can make animals. Oops. I've put too much glue on her nose, haven't I? Let's wipe some more. There we go. So we can have a little face. Or some patterns. Just pour the water back in. And there you go. Your own indoor self-watering plant pot. Hope to see you again for our next video. Bye.